The technology that's gone into this is not at all insignificant. When you're looking at a UNESCO listed site like the barracks that was built in the early part of the 19th century at a time when there was no idea that there'd be such a, a need for this sort of infrastructure to be fed through floorboards and through cavities and in other areas as well. There's about 16 kilometres of Cat6 cable here and another six kilometres of power cabling. There are 150 odd Bluetooth access points, another 40 wireless access points. It's been a couple of years working on this and the concept and the intent started quite early, but getting the technology to a place that we could be confident and assured of success for both a visitor experience as well as uh, infrastructure and operations um, took some planning and some time. So the technology we're using relies on triangulation. Basically every visitor will have a little device that emits beacons that are captured throughout the space and through analyzing where they come from and how long they took to get there, uh, we know where they are. We get an approximation of where they are. In here, you get to build your own story. The idea is that you, you put the device on when you come into the building and you don't think about the technology from that point forward. The goal is to achieve a seamless experience for the visitor where they just walk through the space and everything magically ticks in and everything feels right. And that requires a lot of multifaceted sound layering in a very complex system that's talking to a lot of different pieces. Integration is pretty bananas. In this job, there are about a dozen video projectors. There are about 30 LCD screens. There are cylindrical wraparound screens. And there are about 400 iPods that connect wirelessly to the system. Then they've got about another 200 devices on the network, five VLANs, video over IP LAN. During the install phase, of course, the, the things never go quite to plan with your schedule, so things can get quite compressed. And within this experience, it meant there was a lot of rapid testing that we had to do in quite a constrained period of time. So it was uh, a real testimony to the amount of hours and time and effort that were put in by the various contractors that we're working with from local projects through to Gradient and Datascene, who are our AV integrators, to be able to know that when the, when the site opened, it actually all worked pretty much as we were hoping it would. And what we've seen is some incredible feedback from visitors. I think we've, um, as a team and as an organisation, been overwhelmed by the positive response that we've had to the new experience at Hyde Park Barracks. You know, we went into this thinking perhaps it wasn't for everybody, but overwhelmingly positive response um, has come through and we're really pleased with what the experience is like on site now.